Hey guys, it's Ryan from McHenry Home and Vintners down in Margaret River. I'm here making my favourite pizza today, which is bacon and marrow. No real rules with this one, I'm a bit of an improv on the cooking field. Got some cheese, which I tend to make in my spare time. There's some olives here, which mum makes. Um, preserved from last year. Grandpa Honan's bacon there, pre-cooked. Grandpa Walsh pulled a marinade out of the dam for us this morning, which we've uh, just boiled away there for a couple of minutes. Some basil out of the garden and some of last year's tomatoes. Straight off the vine, boiled, concentrated, a really good foundation for a solid pizza. For a great pizza, I think the base is where it starts. So one thing I can't source from home is flour. So I, I use Lighthouse, high protein flour. Um, great elasticity, very easy to work with. I'm just gonna knead this out a um, little bit with the hands, get the circle shape. And then the next best tool is a bottle of Three Amigos Red. Just work that into the circle, get that consistency um, like a crispy base. Uh, I think the amount of moisture you use in your ingredients is really important in keeping that crispiness. Uh, I'm gonna roll and roll. So I'm pretty happy with that. Onto the plate, just use a little piece of shovel here, I call it, a little bit of polenta on deck. Next job, peel it off the bench. Stretch it out a little bit more, makes it nice and easy, just slip into the oven. So first of all our tomatoes, mum's home growns, don't use a lot of tomato, too much, make your base soggy, you lose your crispness, you lose that crunchy edge, beautiful. Go on with the olives, mum, what an angel. So got some bacon here, picks from the home farm, bit of salt in this bacon, doesn't hurt. Great crunchy texture, nice bit of fat. Marin, uh, freshwater crayfish, pretty indigenous to Margaret River. This guy's just been boiled lightly. Pull him out, lay him down straight, in with the cleaver, watch your fingers. You can see it's a beautiful white flesh, very similar to a crayfish, except as they get bigger, they get softer and more subtle. So I'm just going to slice him up a little bit. One, two, three, four, five. Put him on. Spread around. Basil. What a herb. Aromatics, intensity. Again, just a rough hack. A little bit of cheese. The glue. Hold it all together. Don't overdo it. And there it is. I reckon it's ready for the oven. So it's a little flick. Straight onto the stone. We use a stone. It's preheated. Red hot surface. Just helps to cook that base through quick, fast, get it brown, get it crisp. So it's been 10 minutes. I think it's looking pretty good. Let's take a look. You smell that. Sweet basil, sweet tomato, nice. I think she's ready to come out. Time for that last condiment. Good glass of red. I'm going with three amigos red here. I think when you're dealing with tomato and meats, you, uh, you really need a good red to bounce it off. So, Shiraz Grenache Mataro. Probably the one and only in Margaret River. There it is. That's my pizza. Cheers.